you know what? We respect her. She's a skilled politician, as she proved last night. She's deft at going on the attack uh, uh, for someone who uh, makes the point that she's not from Washington. She looks very much like she'd fit in very well there. When you see how she brings uh, these attacks, it all felt very familiar uh, to Americans who, who are used to this kind of thing uh, from Washington. Um, so, you know, we, we certainly, on blatant distortions of fact, we're, we're, we're more than happy uh, to respond to her or anyone. I mean, there wasn't one thing that she said about Obama that, uh, or what he's proposing that's true. Uh, you know, he's, his, uh, he, he's proposing a tax break for 95% of the American people. Uh, uh, John McCain's proposing 200 billion more for oil, uh, for, uh, for big corporations, uh, and leaving 101 million Americans out. So she's talking to the American people. Most of them will not, or many of them won't benefit from uh, McCain on taxes. Ours will touch uh, almost all of them and give relief to almost all of them. And, and right down the line, uh, you know, whether it's energy, or, she said, uh, you know, she tried to attack Obama by saying he had no significant legislative accomplishments. Uh, and we'd be happy to, maybe that's what she was told. Uh, but uh, she should talk to Senator Luger, talk to Senator Coburn, talk to the people across the aisle uh, in Illinois where he passed dozens of major laws to expand health care, reform welfare, uh, reduce taxes on working families. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think that uh, she had an assignment and she went out and she discharged it.